Okay, so now that our intercom instance is up and running, let's look at how we can use it. So the first time you come into the intercom, you will have to allow some permissions. We will allow here. Let's enter a username. Let's go with Lucas. We can select our input and output devices. You can refresh the list here. I'm happy with this, so let's go next. And here we are on the landing page, the home page of the intercom. The next time you come back here, let's just refresh. You will come directly here. You will not need to set a username. You can always go back here on the top right to click here to change your username and change your input and output device. So now that we're here, let's create a couple of productions with some lines that we can join. So we click create. Let's create our production. Let's call it bird watching. And let's create a line under it. This is where we have the actual calls. A line is kind of like a call. So we call this one camera one. And let's add another line. Let's call it um, the porch. Now we've created a production. Let's create another one. Let's call it NASCAR. Um, let's create a, call, a line called the pit and another one called outside. Voila. So now we have created two productions, each with two lines. Now let's join these lines. So we're going to bird watching camera one. Let's join this one. And here we are. We are now inside of the call. We can increase, decrease our volume. We can unmute ourselves so that other people can hear us or we can mute ourselves. We can deafen, undeafen. And we have a push to talk. If we hold this down, we can talk. We have some hotkeys here. So if I press M, I should be toggling the input mute. As we can see, you can configure these in these hotkeys by clicking the little wheel. We can see the participants in the call. Right now, there is only me. And we can leave the call. There are also some a button here to, to share the line if you wish to share the call. So this is how this is the simplest use case when we only have one call but let's add a couple of more calls let's join another line from the bird watching production let's join the porch so right now we are in two of the calls similarly we can use all the all the hotkeys we also have an unmute or mute all button here at the top right. We can also join calls from other productions. We can, so let's join the NASCAR one and let's go into the pit. Let's join. So we are now in three different calls in two different productions. If we want to change our devices, we can click here on the top right, we can change our username or change our input or output devices. Now let's leave all the calls. We're going back to the home page. Now let's let's manage our production. So we click on the manage button here and uh, we can now edit the names. So let's call this super bird watching instead and let's change the name of the first line camera one to camera one in plain text boom so we can edit the names we can remove lines we can add lines new line 
and let's this, let's make this one an audio feed line and we can create delete uh, productions of course so what is this new audio feed line well let's let's join it we will join it as a listener so the audio feed line is a bit different from the other lines you cannot talk in this line as a listener so this is meant for the program feed pretty much so that everyone can hear it and no one can talk in that line so we've joined our our audio feed line but now let's join some other lines as well let's join uh, camera one so we now both hear the audio feed and we are in the camera one line and we can still join all the other productions as usual and that is pretty much how you use the intercom if you want to use this with your stream deck you can check out our other video for on how to use the bitfocus companion module uh, so that you can use your stream deck to control the intercom good luck